Hi, I'm Sultan Ahmed from Skill Curve. In today's session, we will be learning about working with Cloud Data Prep on Google Cloud. Data Prep by Trifecta is an intelligent data service for visually exploring, cleaning, and preparing structured and unstructured data for analysis and reporting. Because Data Prep is serverless and works at any scale, there is no infrastructure to deploy or manage it. Once inside Data Prep, automatically discovers data structure and patterns and data quality issues and provide guidance to resolve them. So now we have a little bit of knowledge about what Data Prep is. Let's begin our lab. Now, the first step we're going to do is to retrieve dataset files. After that, we need to create a flow for these datasets. And then we will clean some data from one of the datasets that we are using. After cleaning data, we will combine multiple datasets together with union tool. And then we will learn how to join the data of two datasets. And in the end, we will publish our result and see how our data will look like. So now let's start with how we can retrieve dataset files. Now, I'm using Google Cloud Skills Boost for this lab, which is a website of Google Cloud and it will provide access to more than 700 hands-on labs. And in this session, we are doing lab GSP050, which is working with Cloud Data Prep on Google Cloud. And so all the datasets that are in CSV formats that I'm going to use in this lab are retrieved from this site. You can also do that by following those instructions. Since I already import the dataset files, let's start with creating a flow. Now let's get right into the data prep tool. So the first thing you have to do is search data prep on Google. Click on the first link that says data prep by trifecta. Here for now click on try it for free button and then again click on get started for free button. Next you have to link your Google account with the Google Cloud. Choose your account and if you don't have any you need to register your Google account first. Enter the password and click next and it will redirect you to the Google Cloud page. Here in search bar, type data prep and click on it. And you land on the first page of the data prep tool. So the first thing we're gonna do is to create a flow. Now a flow is an object for bringing together and organizing the data sets recipes and other objects that you use to generate your results. Click on create a new flow. Name your flow anything relevant and leave the flow description blank and then click OK. Now your flow is created. Click on the plus sign under the dataset to add the new data source. So now I already have dataset imported in my cloud storage. If you don't have any, you can easily import it by clicking import datasets. Now we will select all the datasets that we want in our flow and click add. And then Cloud Data Prep brings you back to the flow view page which now contains the datasets you added. So now that you have the data, so first thing we're going to do is to design a data preparation recipe to clean the customer datasets. Now there already is a recipe added using the lab 2013 transaction dataset. Let's skip this recipe for now and create our own. To create a recipe, click on the plus sign next to the lab customer and then click add new recipe. Edit the name of the recipe to lab customer and click OK. Now a new recipe node is created. Hit the blue edit recipe button to open the transformer page. 
Now the transformer page is where you build your transformation recipe and see the results applied to that sample. Here you can see each of the columns have a name and an icon that specify the inferred data type. Now let's clean some data here. Scroll all the way to the right to the start date column. Examine the horizontal bar at the top column. This is actually a data quality bar. The green bar represent valid values and the gray part represent missing or null values. Clicking on the sections of data quality bar will generate suggestions that contain quality conditionals and these conditional test whether each record is valid, empty or invalid depending on the section of the bar that you clicked. Now click on the gray part of the data quality bar for the start date column. Now what data prep gonna do is that it generates a list of suggested transformation on the right based on your selection. Now let's delete the missing value uh, rows from start date column. So click on add delete rows with missing values in start date suggestion card and the rows that were highlighted in red have been removed from your data set. So now that you remove the missing values from start date column, another thing we can do is to just fill those cells with the data. So look at the end date column. Based on the data quality bar, there are a large number of rows with missing values. So we can't delete those missing values. Instead, we will fill the data to those missing values. So to easily work with this column, you'll insert a value of let's say January 1st, 2050 in those empty cells. So click the gray section of data quality bar from end date column. This generate another set of suggested transformations. And in this suggested transformation, there is a suggestion to set missing values to null. In this case, data prep does not know what exact value you may want to build with. So it creates a template for you to modify on any suggestion card. You then click edit. This opens the add step builder where in the formula box replace the null with data. And click add. Now that the data quality problem in the lab customers dataset have been addressed and the gray part of the data quality bar is gone. So that's how you can clean your data in transformation. Now we learn how to clean the data from the dataset. Let's combine multiple datasets together with union. For that you have to click on the name of the flow at the top of the screen. This brings you back to the flow view. Now we will create a single dataset that unions the transactions dataset from 2013 to 2015. First click on the lab 2013 transaction dataset, click the plus sign and then click add new recipe. It will create a new recipe, change the name of the recipe to combine the transactions and click OK. Double click a combined transactions to edit the recipe. This opens up the recipe in the transformer grid again. But notice that the data in the grid is the structured data from the lab 2013 transaction dataset. As we did not combine the data of other two datasets yet. So before you make any transformations, look at the bottom left of the transformer grid. Here you can see the data display which shows it has 5 columns and over 26,000 rows and 3 data types. Now click the recipe icon at the top and click add new step. Type in a union in the search field and then click on the result to get the union tool. Now in union tool, the union output field displays the output schema for your dataset. 
Each box represents a column. Cloud Data Prep bases the output schema on the schema of the dataset from which you initiated the union transform. In this case, the columns in the combined transaction dataset determines the columns that will appear in the combined output. Now click on Add Data. Select the datasets that you want to combine. In this case, it is a lab 2014 transaction dataset. And in the drop down at the bottom left, select Align by Name and click Apply. Now click Add to the recipe to combine the datasets. After adding the union to your script, look at the transaction date column. This dataset now includes records from January 2013 to December 2014. Now you have combined or unioned two of three datasets together. So now let's run the union tool again for the third dataset. In the recipe panel, right click the union step and choose edit option. This will open up the union tool again. This time I click add data again and select another dataset. In this case, it is lab 2015 transaction dataset. And in the drop down at the bottom left, select align by name and click apply. And then click add to recipe to combine all three datasets. Now after adding the union to your script, look at the transaction date column again. Now this dataset includes a record from January 2013 through December 2015. And you will also notice more additional rows in the dataset because now it will show us the data of three datasets that are combined through union. Now again click on the flow name to return to the flow view. Here you will see the flow visualization is now updated to show how the three transaction dataset combine to form the combined transactions dataset. Now that the datasets are combined together, let's join the customer data to the transaction dataset. In Cloud Data Prep, the dataset from which you initiate a join automatically becomes the master dataset. So now we want combined transaction to be the master dataset. So double click on combine transaction to edit the recipe again. Now here click on the join icon in the transformer toolbar and now it will open the join tool. So now click on the lab customers dataset to bring in the other dataset and then click accept. For these datasets, Cloud Data Prep choose an inside join on column customer ID. This means the output dataset will be those records that have the same customer ID. Click next. On the next screen, you can choose which columns to keep or drop after the join. In the output column panel, put a check next to fields to add those columns to the join. So I'm going to select some columns real quick that I want to join and the remaining columns will be dropped automatically. Now click review to preview the result of your join in the transformer grid and click add to recipe. And now you successfully join the selected columns of two datasets. So now you finish preparing your data. It's time to run your job and to produce the result. Click run in the top right of the transformer grid. In the run job dialog, you can configure your job execution settings and output destination. Click run again. Now the job is in running straight, so now you, you just have to wait to complete the running process of the job. And now our job is complete, so let's see what our data will look like. Now what you see here is the transform data of all the datasets that we use. Here we can see each columns having information about valid, mismatched and missing values along with the data bar that shows how our data look like visually. Here it also gives us the information about how many columns 
flaws and data types in this new data. You can also download it as JSON or PDF file to see the output report. Let's download it as PDF file. And here you can see the profile report of our data, which is combined transactions, where we have the information about the data set that being used and also the output of these data sources. And then again, we have the information of columns of the combined transactions data set as well. And that brings us to the end of the lab. I hope this lab is valuable for you in understanding the basics of data prep. Please feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions about this lab or if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment and also do let us know about your experience with data prep. And if you like our content, do subscribe Skill Curve channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.